Don't forget, huh? I've already helped you make the appointment. Oh, I've already got so much work to do. Who has the time to go? What appointment? Dental appointment. What's wrong with your teeth? Nothing. You are too stressed. Most likely, your kidney tea is imbalanced. Some people we know saw the same dentist recently. It was actually quite a good experience. Good for wasting money only. Just boil some Huang Lian. Gargle, can ready. Well, my teeth are okay for now. You promised me you will go, remember? Hey, too bad you missed the therapy session yesterday. Your goal learned a lot about himself. You should also go, then you can improve. Hey, don't forget, eh? big delivery coming today. Big delivery? Hmm? I didn't receive a reply from Lao Yo. Okay, great. So you'll send me the notes? Thank you so much. That's the first year course you were talking about. Yeah, so? You know, if Tobias wants to put in class, that's his problem. I'm just helping him out, okay? My own business. He can't even be bothered to turn up for classes. You think he's going to be bothered to read your notes? Give him a chance, okay? He's been really stressed about his family situation. Yeah, so stressed that he can't even do his job, apparently. Geraldine's so done with him. She said he doesn't turn up for work one more time, he's gone. Fire me. So what? Job sucks anyway. I was the one who got you that job, okay? You're making me look bad. It's okay. Just say it's all me. <sighs> you can't keep skipping work in classes. Then what are you going to do? Hmm. Bunch of the guys are meeting at the land shop. That's a pretty good plan for the day. You can't just play land every day and ignore everything else that's going on in your life. Hmm. Maybe not every day. But I might just go today. Well, I'm not going to let you. What? He just shoved you out of the way? What a gentleman. What is it with guys in gaming anyway? So boring. You know what's boring? Having to do two people's work all by myself. I'll cover his shift for today. What? Hurry up, just tell me what needs to be done. How is this going to help Tobias? Geraldine's going to know it wasn't him. Not if we don't tell her. I feel like a crazy person. You have no idea how many times I typed that message to Harish and then deleted it. He asked you for space, right? Of course you should delete it. Yeah, but what if he thinks I don't care about him anymore because I haven't messaged him or checked in? Actually, I'm like him. Eve also knows when I'm upset, I need a few days to cool down. What is my problem, Po Chu? Oh, why can't I just let him come to that wedding with me as my plus one? Well, going to a wedding together is quite a big step. It is, right? It makes you wonder where you're at as a couple, whether marriage could be on the cards. It just seems so intense. <gasps> what if Harish? decides to break up with me because he actually wants to get married and thinks that I don't. I yeah, don't think so much. Harish has been quite busy with his work and I'm sure he won't break up with you just because of this. It's Harish. I'm just here because my brother made an appointment for me, by the way. I see. I mean, I don't really have any issues or anything that I need to talk about. I'm good. Ooh, good is good. Yep, it's all good. I mean, my mother is being annoying again. I'm sure you remember the last time we were here. She loves to try to control everything and everyone. Yes, I remember. How are things on the work front? Mm, all I can say is remind me to never work in the same place as my husband or rather my soon-to-be ex-husband. Okay. It's bad enough that he refused to follow the rules we agreed on in the office. He had to go and tell the other colleagues all about it. So he made you look bad? Yeah. Why do you think so? Well, if he just did everything that I told him to, there won't be. But does he need to do everything you tell him to? Of course. Oh 
my god. Am I my mother? This is nice, isn't it? Having breakfast together, coming to work together. Uh, um, you'll be volunteering in the other wing, right? So I probably won't see you for most of the day. Are you that eager to get rid of me, Christine? I have a very full day ahead. I won't have time to entertain you. I'm not a child. Besides, I know exactly what I should be doing and where to go. So rest assured, you won't have to entertain me. And here I was thinking, me doing this would be such a nice way to spend more quality time together. How silly of me. I am the ex-mother-in-law after all. I assure you, you'll hardly know I'm here. My mother is another level. She won't even admit she's trying to control people. I see. Honestly, I'm just trying to maintain professionalism at work. And I think Benny knows that too. Please don't cross your legs in my office. Oh. I just don't want people to gossip at work. And they already know that we are separated. Stop gesturing with your hands when you talk. Um, is that a problem? You're doing it again. What? Do you think I'm being unreasonable? A bit, yeah. Now, how did it make you feel for me to impose those rules on you? Actually, I feel like I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have assumed that you want me to attend a wedding with you. It's not that I didn't. I mean, I love doing anything with you. Then why does the no plus one rule still apply to me? This is gonna sound really dumb, but maybe on some level I thought it might jinx us. So no matter how much I've told you that I love you and how committed I am to us to this, you still think I'm gonna jump on? I'm sorry. I guess some part of me still feels like I don't deserve you. I know you got some stuff to work through. Stuff your dad, your past relationships. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Mandy? What are you doing here? Where's Tobias? Uh, Tobias stepped out for a second. I'm just covering for him. Where did he go? To the to toilet. To get coffee? To the toilet and then to get coffee. Mandy, come out for a second. After everything is done to you, you're still doing all this for him. Why? Look, he really needs this job, okay? Just let me try one more time. I know I can talk some sense into him. I don't think even you can save him. The bad news is... you're fired. What are you talking about? That's great news. Are you crazy? So what's the good news? Well, if you think of it that way, then now you can focus on your upcoming exams. <sighs> this is terrible news. Makes them suck. That's not true. Not when you have notes from the top muggers in your class. Just so happened one of my juniors is in your contract law class. And I gotta say, their notes are even more detailed than mine. That looks like way too much effort for my brain right now. Come on, it'll be fun. We can have a quick study sesh before dinner. Quick? It's not even 1 p.m. Five hours is more than enough time. I'm sure you'll be able to ace your contract law paper. I have a better idea. We opened this bottle the other day and couldn't finish it. How about a quick drinking sesh before dinner instead? But exams are coming up soon. Come on. Just drink a few rounds, chill a bit, then hit the books tonight. Hey, I have a tricky situation with one of my friends. Tricky? How? She kind of liked me a little bit. Nice! Not nice, actually. Thing is, I only see her as a friend. Does she know that? She knows. I feel a bit bad. I still want to be a good friend to her. Is that wrong? Not if you're both on the same page, expectations-wise. As long as you're not leading her on or anything, well, I don't see any issue with it. 
she, she messaged me some time back, but I haven't replied her. I'm not sure what to say also. Just be honest, I guess. Best policy. Thanks. Everything okay in here? No, studying sucks. How about break? We can grab some ice cream and you can get back to it later. I'm a bit lazy to go out. Okay, well, let me know if you change your mind. I don't mind a movie night, though. We haven't done that in a while. Sounds good. I'll grab the snacks later. You choose what to watch. Did someone say something about movie night? I'm just supposed to be at work. Half day. Oh, you should join us. It'll be fun. You don't mind if I crash, do you? Okay, you said that was the last one. Time to study. Come on. What's the point of having a family when all you're gonna do is cheat on each other all the time? We'll still lie to your kid about it. I'm guessing your parents were trying to protect you. Is it a wonder that I'm a mess? Just like them? You're not messed up. Don't try to make me feel better. I know I'm cut from the same cloth. So do you. I mean... You're not a cheater. I'm a player, just like you said. Or maybe I was fooling around to distract myself from what was really going on at home. Funny, right? The things we pretend not to know. Why should I even care that my parents are cheaters and liars? It's their problem. Exactly. You're not them. <sighs> Why couldn't they just carry on? It would have been fine. Is it right to live a lie? Easier than having to deal with it, right? Dotting sucks. I'll drink to that. Ah. These are good quality. <laughs> uh, did Lao Yu change his delivery driver? I don't remember seeing him before. That's because these are not from Lao Yu. My new supplier in China, he can give us the same grade of herbs as Lao Yu for half the price. So Lao Yu is no more our supplier? He didn't want to match the price. What? Pa, there are other factors to keep Lao Yu. This is what I mean by you can't just keep deciding stuff on Swatao without discussing with me first. Uh, yeah, okay, next time, okay? This is why we need to go therapy and if you're not going to... Sun Zhi Shuo. But he's not your enemy. He's your childhood friend. You never bothered to read Sun Tzu Ping Fa. That's why your business sense, no good. Maybe we should have just tried a smaller batch to start with. Then we wouldn't get the bulk discount. See? No business sense. Excuse me, excuse me, what are you? Security, someone? Shame on you in broad daylight. I want you, if a single item is missing, I won't hesitate to call the police. Hey, I want this. I just want to clean, okay? Don't just put your things here and there. La. <laughs> ah, I want you to lodge a report against that man. Don't give me that. He was extremely rude to me. As a volunteer, I deserve to be treated with you respect. You think you deserve to be treated with respect? So does he. The roots have excessive root hair. The aroma is weak. And worst of all, it's not well dried. Squeeze it. You can tell there is excess moisture inside. So what? Even Lao Yu stop. Not always perfect. I'm telling you, Pa, there's something fishy going on here. I thought I told you to organize the storeroom. Why are you wasting time on all this? Because what's the point of organizing the storeroom if most of our new stock is unsellable? What unsellable? We already started selling them. People have been buying the ginseng. I only had time to check on the tang kuei. There's still the tang shen, ginseng, hong zhao. No business sense, never mind. You don't even know how to follow instructions. I got no time to jaga you. Just follow what I tell you. I need to see my patients already. Hey, 
If you're tired, you should take a break. Or a nap like a friend here. <laughs> he's not tired. He's wasted. <sighs> Don't tell me he drank all that by himself. Well, he did have some company. Binge drinking in the middle of the day? Mandy. Wait. You actually think this was my idea? It wasn't my idea, okay? I... I'm the one who's been trying to help him here. I know, I know. I didn't mean to sound like I was accusing you. FYI, I was the one who suggested we should study together. He's the one who's a bad influence. Well, I guess you can't help people unless they're willing to help themselves. But... He's starting to open up. Before he concussed, he was sharing his feelings. Mandy, you're not his therapist. You should be focusing on exams as well. Can you manage? I'm good. Look, if he wants to throw his education away and party all the time, that's his choice. I know, I know, but I'm really starting to get through to him. Mandy, <clears throat> do you have feelings for Tobias? <laughs> that ship sailed a long time ago. I'm just worried for him as a friend, you know. I'm sure he'll regret it if he flunks out of school or something. Well, don't get your hopes up, okay? Sometimes it's just much easier for people to pretend that their problems don't exist and just not deal with them. Speaking from experience, of course. I just need more time. I'm sure I can get through to him. Hey, Auntie. Um, how's Sarah? How is Sarah? As good as she can be, I guess. <laughs> Horrified about the big hoo-ha now that everyone knows about her little crush on you. Guess she's just finding it difficult to deal with her feelings. It's a process. Slowly locking them up and throwing away the key. It takes time. I guess so. For what it's worth, I think it's sweet. Sweet? You know, first loves. Pardon me, I mean first crushes. I remember my first crush. I'm not gonna name names, but he was one of the national football team's best reserves. Uh, Andy, um, it was nice talking to you. I think I better get back to work. See you. Okay. Okay. If you're gonna drink like this, at least don't drink on an empty stomach. <sighs> I know you probably won't remember any of this later, but you know what's the thing about running away from problems? Sooner or later, they'll catch up with you. You can't just keep running. You know, when I was uh, released from prison, there was nothing I wanted more than to get away from my family. <laughs> Ironic, right? The same people that kept me going while I was inside. The only people that would have accepted me regardless of what I have done. I was ashamed. I couldn't face them. <laughs> but they stuck by me. They wouldn't let me go. <laughs> Look, I know you have been disappointed by your own family, but I hope you can see that now you have the support of a new family. Rose, Rose, come on, come on, you, you're missing the best part! I already told you I don't like scary movies! Sadistic slashes, not supposed to be scary. Well, I find it scary! It's kind of lame, actually. It, it's so bad that it's good, right? Huh? More like so bad it's bad. Wait till you see the sequel, Sadistic Slasher 2. Ketupat killer! <laughs> what are you doing, girl? 
Can't you see Auntie Rose and Harish are having a movie date? Come on, give them some alone time. Go. No, uh, Mum, really, it's fine. Whatever. The movie sucks anyway. Whoa, this is more Zialat than I thought. I told you, right? More than half the shipment is unusable. Did you try telling Pa? I did. But did he listen? Then how? You can't sell this. Nope. Swatow's reputation is at stake. Come, help me bring this to the bin centre. Uh, you want to get rid of them? Mm-hmm. Do I have a choice? Well, Pa is going to flip when he finds out. Better he lose his temper at me than lose Swatow. Hmm? I was thinking of taking MC though. You could probably write me one, right? Only if you see me at the hospital. Are you not feeling well? Mm, headache. Feverish, maybe. Any nausea? A little nauseous. Tobias, I am not about to give you an MC on the account of being hungover. I'm not hungover. Who are you trying to kid? You smell like a bar. But I don't feel good. Then maybe you should have thought about it before drinking that entire bottle of whiskey. I saw it in the recycling. I didn't drink the whole bottle. Drink some water and go for your exam. <laughs>